Hello, I'm Michael Collins, and I have the great privilege of serving as Chancellor of the University of Massachusetts Medical School. To change the course of history of disease, that and nothing less is what inspires our students, caregivers, and researchers each and every day. It's a noble and important mission, and it's one that was shared by a true champion of our medical school and a dear friend, former Massachusetts Governor Paul Cellucci. We recently lost Governor Cellucci to ALS, but his brilliant legacy endures. For the past two years, Governor Cellucci led the Champion Fund, a campaign to raise money for the ALS research happening in the lab of Dr. Robert Brown, one of our brilliant clinician scientists and the governor's physician. Governor Cellucci worked tirelessly to advance the cause of the Champion Fund, and he succeeded. He raised millions of dollars, money that's now helping our teams take a step closer to discovering possible cures for ALS. We are inspired by the governor's commitment to tomorrow's patients and his willingness to invest his time and energy, which became more precious each and every day. Governor Cellucci did not want these efforts to stop at his passing. We invite you, in the governor's memory, to join our team. In the meantime, we remember Paul Cellucci, an incredible man, a champion in every sense of the word. This is a big, big cause. Uh, and this support for our state medical school and for Dr. Brown's uh, research is just overwhelming. He couldn't fasten a button on his shirt, and that simple act led to a diagnosis that would change former Governor Paul Cellucci's life dramatically. Well, now he is making it his life's mission to raise research dollars for ALS. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Fenway Park. Hey, Doctor. Sir, how are you? Good to see you. I'm very, uh, very proud uh, to announce that I'll be leading a campaign to raise an endowment fund uh, for Dr. Robert Brown's ALS research at our state medical school. What I see in Bob Brown is a gifted and talented physician. He's most committed to the clinical care of his patients. And yet, his mind whirs with scientific inquiry at a speed which would outpace most of his colleagues and collaborators. There has never been more reason to be hopeful about the future of ALS treatments than right now. There are now more causes identified for the disease in terms of genetics. There are now more models to study. There are now other modalities of treatments besides drugs that are becoming available. There's a plurality of possibilities that just didn't exist six or seven years ago. What I hear so often from, from our clinician investigators and from our basic science research team is that they have so many wonderful ideas that they hope to pursue, and yet there isn't enough funding available. So having a fund where a scientist actually can pursue an idea is sort of the dream. Private benefactions to a program like ours are incredibly important because they allow us to undertake some of the most high risk, but potentially high yield creative work. I'm trying to turn a very tough diagnosis into a very positive thing by raising uh, this money, and that, uh, that gives me a lot of, uh, a lot of comfort. In certainly one of the most poignant meetings of my career, when Governor and Mrs. Salucci came to see me to tell me about their disease and about the challenges they were going to face, and then said, we would like to turn this into a positive. We would like to help our medical school to be great into the future. And I said, now look at there are going to be some pretty big challenges that you're going to face. Are you sure you want to put your energies and talents to work on this with all the other things you'll face. And they said, yes. The most important thing that we could do is to help our doctor and one of the world's foremost ALS researchers help find a cure for this disease.
thanks very much for coming. We're announcing a pledge in the amount of half a million dollars. UMass Medical School is a jewel in our state university system and a world-class research facility. We have to find an answer and there's no doubt that we will. Dr. Brown will not rest. He wants to find a cure and I am so proud to be helping him so that he can continue his groundbreaking research that is giving realistic hope to people living with ALS and their families. Governor Salucci is one of many true believers in the work of UMass. Paul has approached this cause with commitment and vigor, inspiring the rest of us to believe that with enough effort, enough hard work, and enough support, we can defeat this disease, not only for the people of Massachusetts, but for the citizens of the world. Paul Salucci, the University of Massachusetts Worcester, is privileged to celebrate your accomplishments and to salute your enduring support of our Commonwealth's public medical school. You are one whose life has been infused with purpose, action, and results. There isn't a one of us that wants to have to face a very difficult and challenging disease. There isn't a one of us that wants to think that our nation or each other can't put dollars to research so that we could actually find a cure for diseases like ALS. There isn't a one of us that ever would want to walk into a doctor's office and be told that they have ALS. And frankly, there isn't a one of us who knows who will be next. I'm Charlie Gennard. I have a beautiful wife, Winnie and two beautiful young sons. A couple of Julys ago, a good friend of mine who I played racquetball with uh, was beating me way more than he should. Then I went to the doctor and I got the news it was probably ALS. I was holding my... <laughs> I was holding my two and a half year old. for Governor Salucci to come out so publicly. Um, there's a lot of courage and, you know, everybody who is sick and their families uh, appreciates it so much. For the past two years, I have had the great privilege to lead the UMass ALS Champion Fund. Our campaign is committed to raising money to support the research happening in the lab of my friend and physician, Dr. Robert Brown. ALS is a formidable illness, but each day we are gaining a greater understanding that lends itself to developing the therapies of tomorrow. As the former governor of Massachusetts, I say with certainty that one of the best things state government ever did was to create the UMass Medical School. It planted the seed for an institution that is now a treasure for our state, our country, and indeed the world. As Chancellor Collins so often declares, the researchers here at UMass Medical are committed to changing the course of history of diseases. You will succeed. You are succeeding. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. God bless you. God bless the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Thank you.